be it through lectures, mm -hmm. open space discussions, even like activities outside of the classroom. Right. I've really benefited from hearing the insights, opinions mm -hmm. um, of different Asian scholars and being able to see how they at first reconcile with mine, if they mm -hmm. do or they don't, and whether they challenge my opinions, and then be able to think deeply about what it means um, for the different countries in this region. Um, so I think I've really benefited from the composition of scholars. When you're given this opportunity and you think, oh, okay, I'm going to be in Japan, um, I'm going to be with all these Asian scholars, you tend to think that scholars of the same nationality will stick with each other because that's something that's very natural in, in you know, human, just human interactions. People tend to find what's comfortable and they tend to seek out answers or things that align with their worldview. But I've been very surprised by um, how open you know people from different places are in terms of even like hanging out with friends, um, you know, discussing political issues. Um, I remember having a very intense discussion about Chinese politics with a couple of Chinese scholars and Japanese scholars. And um, through that kind of experience, I was able to uh, learn about the different sides, but also know that just because you're from a specific place, for example, Japan or China, doesn't necessarily mean you adhere to the specific party line or the specific government line in terms of issues. So I think that's been something that's been very interesting and something that's surprised me a lot. Um, I think my long-term goal is really to foster economic development in Asia specifically. Um, and I think the quickest way to do that is uh, working on improving the educational institutions mm -hmm. in Asia such that every child, no matter where they come from, um, what kind of household they grow up in, they have mm -hmm. the same equal access to education as any other child. Um, so I think that would be my long-term goal. Okay. What I'm missing right now is um, the private sector experience that I'll need. So I'll have to understand how um, different industries interact, I have to understand um, how the government plays a role in providing um, you know, public goods. Um, so I think that in the short term, I do want to work in a large multinational corporation so I can get the hands-on skills in the private sector experience. Um, but I think in the long term, I want to translate that sort of private sector insight into um, you know, actionable goals and be able to deliver uh, and be able to effect change on, on a more uh, global landscape in terms of education.